is just what's he like? What do, what do we don't as outsiders? What do we not see? Uh, I mean, I mean, he's kind of an open book, really. When he's, I mean, he's an articulate guy. He's super smart. When he's analyzing an offense, it's kind of incredible to watch him and just the way he talks. Obviously, you know, he's a little bit more reserved and quiet than maybe. Um, I, I thought at first when he came in, but he's obviously a great guy. Like once you get to know him, he, he opens up, and it's been great to kind of learn from him so far. Uh, obviously, I try and emulate myself after him. My gameplay, obviously, his style as a leader and a player here for the Oregon Ducks. But I think he's very. I mean, he's a great leader on off. Uh, what's it been like getting to know him personally, both as as a as a backup to him and as a friend of him and a teammate? Right. I mean, obviously, you don't try and blend those because obviously, when we're on the football field, we're, we're teammates. I'm still his backup, and we're, I mean, obviously, that's the role I'm fighting for. Um, but obviously, as a friend, you know, he's a really good friend off the field where you can kind of talk to him about stuff, or maybe you wouldn't talk about um, as like a as a backup or a teammate. So you can talk to him about football situations, personal stuff like that. So it's kind of been cool to, to relate to him as well. Obviously, I mean, I think we differ a little bit. I mean, he's still. I try to like be more outgoing with other people and trying to get to know other people. But especially getting to know him because we're in the same quarterback room, it's been nice as well. Uh, what what have these last six months been like for you since you were out here? Really right. Ingratiated yourself early with the team and, and the coaching staff and the quarterbacks. No, I'm definitely glad I came early just because I know a bunch of other freshman guys. It's kind of been a lot, a lot going so far. Just right in the fall camp, but you know I got winter workouts, spring ball, summer workouts. So I kind of already been acclimated with the speed, the the playbook, the tempo of everything. So it's definitely been a lot easier. Uh, just coming in now in the fall camp where i kind of been through it already. Obviously, it's my first fall camp, so i still got a lot of uh, you know, kinks to, to work out and a lot of mistakes that have to be fixed. So I'm just trying to do the best I can each day to get better for this team. Have you had a, a moment since you arrived, like, oh, I'm, a, I'm a college student now, I'm, I'm right. a college athlete, I'm a D1 quarterback? Right. Um, I'd probably say in spring ball, you know, when you start – like I think almost like the spring game, like the practice leading up to it, you know, you're out there with your teammates, but once you kind of actually get to put like the jersey on and you, you get to go out there and run through Austin, the tunnel, it's like, all right, this is for real now. Like, cause uh, football is football. Like you get to practice, so that's what I love. So when it's kind of for real and you're out there in the game day experience, like it's, it's truly, truly a blessing. Where have you grown the most from when you were at the campus to where you are now? Right, I, I think my football knowledge, just knowing the playbook, I don't read defenses. I mean, Coach Royal does a great job with us as far as the quarterback room and the entire offense. So I think just learning kind of the specifics of it. Obviously, um, arm, my arm talent, physical traits, I've, I've tried to improve as well. But I think the biggest thing when you come early, you want to you want to learn the play, playbook. You want to get your like your mind right, I guess. So just as far as mental knowledge, I feel like I've improved the most from what I got here. How much is a guy like Braxton with what he went through last year coming in and having to compete as a true freshman? How much has he helped you mentally and just game prep and practice prep? And just right. Just right. I mean, definitely. He's, I mean, he's been through that situation where you, you know, your number's called, and I think I, I relate with him really well. Like we hang out all, all the time off the field. He's a good guy. So just kind of asking the questions. I mean, little things from like, oh, what are you doing on this play, or like, what's this read? I think now we bounce questions off of both of each other, just what we're doing here and there. So he's a great teammate to work with, and obviously um, we're both fighting to do our best for the team and fight, find our role as a backup. So obviously I've been having a lot of fun so far, and we just got to keep getting better together. What's, what's Coach Chris Paul? He, he's very personable. He's honest. Tells it like it is. Yeah. What's he like as a coach and behind the scenes? Um, I mean, he, like you said, off the field, he's a great personal guy. Like he'll always be there for you. I mean, what I love really about him is that when you're on the field, it's straight business. It's strictly like this is how it's going to be done. We have a certain standard that we have to live up to, and if it's not there, then you're going to be bold or you're going to have to you know, step your game up. So I think that's what I found really respectful by him. He's like, he's not going to hold you to a lower standard for anybody. You know, whether, whether it's Justin or a newcomer, a freshman like me, um, you have this certain standard that you have to be held up to as an Oregon Duck. So I think he's done a great job so far from that aspect. So. Is he as intense as, as he appears to be? Uh, so, I mean, some of the times, yeah. Like he. he he knows when to be intense. He knows when to like you know put your arm around you and tell you know tell you what's real. But I think he's always 100 percent with us. He's always honest. I think that's the biggest thing. No matter, I mean it's it's football. It's an intense game. If you're not ready to go, then you shouldn't be playing it. So I think he, I mean he does everything right as far as I've seen so far. What's what's the overall mood, the vibe around this team? Obviously there's excitement in the year. Uh, looks looks like it's on the upswing for right. a couple of years ago. I mean, I, I can't speak from for the guys that have been here, but I know just from an outsider's point of view, it's I mean, it's it's exciting. Like I, I know guys have felt better than they've ever felt. 
as far as the team aspect, the culture thing, uh, Coach Chriswell harps on, harps on that a lot. So I think the culture's been better than ever. Everyone's working hard. Coach Feltz got us right in the weight room. I think it's, everyone feels great, looks great. I think we're just ready to kind of get the season rolling and see how we play for real. Uh, what's something about Tyler that we don't know or we should know? Um, I get asked this question a lot. I always try and keep the keep the answer same, but I, I feel like I'm a pretty goofy guy off the field. Like I try and keep it serious as much as I can, but I always love like hanging out with my teammates and to know them. I think it's a big thing when you're a quarterback. Like you have to relate well to everybody. So I try and you know I don't try and have a certain click. I try and hang out with everybody, get to know everybody. So I think I like to have a lot of fun off the field as well. So you're friends with all 105 guys. Per, per near. That's what I think. That was my biggest thing was coming early, like getting to know everybody's names. Like it's a whole new teammate. Like you're not with your high school friends anymore. So I think I mean I've gone, gone lunch, have a conversation with, know where they're from, and most of the guys on here. So it's been, it's been pretty fun to, just to get to know people. What did you do this summer to kind of discover Oregon and really like get to know the area? Right. I mean that's a. It's definitely different from Arizona. Like it's it's extremely beautiful here. I know there's a bunch of waterfalls. I haven't got too much exploring time just because we had summer workouts and stuff like that. But definitely like going down the Willamette River, um, like biking, hiking, and stuff like that. It's a huge thing around here. So. Maybe not now. I've been kind of focused on like football, learning the playbook, stuff like that. But maybe in future years, I'll kind of be a little bit more extravagant, trying to explore more.